why the American right now, most of them, they are supporting, talking about partition, Israel, because there's a benefit. What is the benefit? They knew how important, how strategic is Israel. They knew that they have no friends. So in other way, America need Israel is not the opposite. You will see somebody making a video about how much money America pay every year to Israel. In fact, you pay more to Saudi Arabia, they pay more to Turkey, they pay more to all Islamic countries to have a base. In, 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 in Israel, you have a base for free. The whole country is your base. Totally for free. In order to have a base in Turkey, you have to pay them. A lot of money. So, don't take neither from those who support Israel today or those who they are against Israel today. For in both sides there is liars and there is hypocrite. So what we do? We stand with facts and truth, not with opinion. How we can stand with the facts? As you see, we are showing you what their Quran is saying. Their Quran 1400 years ago witnessed that this is the land of the Jews. Our Bible witnessed that this is the land of the Jews. Do I have better documentation more than something goes thousands of years ago? Do I need a guy from Fox News, or like this guy is super black, to tell me where is the truth? Do you even need me? What if I am a person now supporting Hamas? How do you know if I'm telling you the truth? The truth must be examined. People say things. People lie. People tell the truth. It's your job as a human being to be smart and vigilant and intelligent otherwise you are just a stupid goat you believe whatever you hear anything anyone he says to you examine if it's true or not so when this guy he say what he say go check it out and you will find that he's a liar he's ignorant he do not know the international law he said that according to international law this is a violation for war the law of war. And here you ask yourself the very silly question. International law of war. I mean, what kind of law is justifying war anyway? Aren't you a human right, activ a human right activist? So you are a human right to, to the bones or you are a human right to the flesh? So you are justifying killing a human being. Because there is a law that says you can kill a human being. Are you, are you against killing? Or you are supporting some kind of killing? So in one hand, they claim that they are human rights activists. In the other hand, they say the war of law. What war of law? And who is the one who put the war of law? Or the law of war, whatever you call it. Who is the one who made it? The one who do law? Or the one who do war. 